The Academy announced this year's round of Oscar hopefuls. Walmart said it will close 269 stores around the world in 2016, only to open 405 new ones. And David Bowie gifted one final album to the world, only to succumb to cancer two days later. Good night, Major Tom. And this is The Week That Was in Business Analytics. The Week That Was is brought to you by Millenni Abs, that six-pack that you had in 2000 but haven't seen head or tail of since. And of course, ICOMP Business Solutions. Big news at IBM. The North American International Auto Show today announced a technology partnership with premier sponsor IBM, resulting in two industry firsts. The first auto show to launch an interactive show floor wayfinding app, and the first auto show with a digital asset management portal for media. So now I won't get so lost wandering around looking for cars I can't afford? <laughs> Why? IBM today announced that it has acquired Iris Analytics, a privately held company specializing in real-time analytics to help combat payment fraud. Okay, so I just want to say right here, I'm, I'm a huge supporter of fraud detection and prevention. You guys aren't giving this to the tax department, are you? Just, just asking. I mean, nothing to see here. IBM announced a new cloud-based offering called Dynamic Pricing, which automatically recommends an online retailer's best response to changes in performance data and market conditions, as well as the latest competitor pricing information. Now, this makes me think I need to get back into finishing my awesome fan fiction screenplay, Price Wars, The Profit Awakens. It's a winner. <laughs> I just know it. And finally, IBM announced that the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta's Retail Payments Office has selected IBM to modernize its automated clearinghouse processing platform. So I guess now bank-to-bank -bank transfers will clear faster than ever before? Oh, my, my ex-wife will be so pleased. Last week, we looked at some of the more popular keywords in business analytics, but let's have a closer look at which countries are Googling each one the most. We know big data is well, big, but where is it the biggest? If you answered India, you'd be correct. And you'd win the prize of quiet self-satisfaction. However, over the last year, Singapore, Hong Kong, and South Korea have also been Googling the term until their fingers bled. So if you're in the Asia-Pacific region, why not get on board? Most of the keywords follow a similar trend, although South Africa seems to really like business intelligence, and the US is all over data visualization. Good figure, huh? And who's obsessing over cloud the most? Just India and the US. I mean, seriously, does nobody else care? To truly harness the power of big data, understand the dark side you must. <coughs> uh, sorry, I had a bug in my throat there. Uh, anyway, have you ever considered how data can be misused to make you believe things that aren't necessarily true? Luckily, you don't have to, because the folks at statisticshowto.com have already compiled a fascinating list of notable ways statistics and data have been abused to influence public opinion. You see, I, I knew that KPI they used to fire me last week was misleading. Hey, thanks for watching. Living Under a Rock when last week's video was released. It's right here on the end screen. Just click. If you enjoy the week that was, why not share it with all 800 of your Facebook friends? That you don't know where they live, you don't have their home phone number, and if you had to move, not a single one of them would show up. But hey, share this with them. At least they can click and like us and, you know, get in your little group, little circle, little click. You know, just get them in there. And, you know, make you feel better about yourself. Order a pizza because you're too afraid to leave the house. Did we get something wrong? Well, let us know in the comments below. We know we're not quite perfect yet. YouTube stats tell me that almost no one is still watching at this point, so I guess I can say anything I want. So, Linda, you f***ing...